Ford has sold a staggering 1.3 million Focuses in the UK since the original arrived back in 1998. So there's a lot riding on this third generation model. The new car is ever so slightly longer than its predecessor. And as a result, look, knee ream is really impressive. However, the body's a bit lower and a bit narrower yet. As you can see, Headroom's reasonable, and I'm 5 foot 11, and you could sit three adults abreast here, no problem. I want to show you this about the seats because when you fold them down, they lie pretty much completely flat, and that's not something you can say about all the Focus's rivals. There's plenty of practicality here in the front, too. The side door bins are large, there's room for bigger bottles than that, and there's a cavernous centre cubby as well. Got a couple of cup holders down here. And as for comfort, it's dead easy to find your ideal driving position because there's so much adjustment in the seat and the steering wheel. I like the sporty instrument dials and the nice steering wheel as well. As for standard equipment, well, right across the range, you get air conditioning, get ESP anti-skid control, and also a digital radio, which on this model is controlled using these buttons, which are handily laid out like those on a mobile phone. The Ford Focus has always set the class benchmark in terms of handling, and this new one, it's no exception. It does have electric power steering for the first time, which doesn't have quite as nice feel to it as the hydraulic system on the old car, but it's still very responsive, and I like the way that it's nice and light at low speeds and then wakes up as you start to go a bit faster. Ford has fitted the car with something called tool vectoring, and as a result, it's got loads of grip in corners, and it means the car feels more like a sports car through the bends than your average small family hatchback and it's especially good fun if you go for the new 1.6 litre EcoBoost turbo petrol engine. However, the new Focus isn't only good on back roads such as this, it's an impressive motorway cruiser too because the cabin is extremely well insulated, you hardly get any noise entering at all. Also, the high speed ride is very, very comfortable, but I do think that in town the suspension can feel a little bit on the firm side. And as for other problems, well, while quality is generally very good, there are certain things that feel a bit on the cheap side, such as these flimsy switches and how the steering column seems to be covered by just a little bit of fabric. Also, on lower spec cars, the door trims are all hard, brittle plastic. It is soft touch on the top of there on the high spec titanium models, but they're a bit pricey. And then there's the boot, because it's a bit smaller than that of its main rivals. For instance, the Vauxhall Astras has 54 litres more space. What's more, the Focus won't hold its value quite as well as the VW Golf come resale time. And finally, if I'm honest, I'm not too sure about these new looks, but then they say beauty's only skin deep. And deep down, well, the new Ford Focus is an extremely good car. Ha <laughs>